When a business increases its prices, demand for its products would generally fall, and vice versa for a price decrease. Businesses want to know how much demand will fall when there's an increase in price. This helps them decide how to set their prices in order to maximise revenue. Price elasticity of demand is a measure of how sensitive or responsive customers are to changes in price, and it's calculated by using the following formula. Percentage change in quantity demanded divided by a percentage change in price. Now, some students get muddled up with this equation, and we don't want that. So here's a way that you could remember it. Here's a tip. The quacky duck sits on the pond. So in order to help you remember this equation, think about the Q goes on top, because it's the quacky, and the D, the duck, over the P, the price, which is the pond. Quacky duck sits on the pond. At times in your business paper, you might be asked to calculate the percentage change. So remember the formula, new minus old divided by old times by 100. So you would input that information into our PED equation. Do check out these videos. They may also be of interest to you. I will put the link to them in the description box. Typically, the figure at the end for price elasticity of demand is negative. This is because if prices increase, the quantity demanded will fall, which gives a negative number. If prices for the quantity demanded will increase, this inverse relationship results in a negative price elasticity of demand sign for most products. This video will go through a number of PD calculations with them steadily getting harder. It is key to practice those PD calculations prior to your exams and other calculations because you want to solidify those marks. So grab a pen and paper and work through those PD calculations with me. Do check out the free resources. There will be a link to them in the description box. Our first question, it has been estimated that a 40% increase in the price of coconut milk would decrease demand by 10%. Calculate the price elasticity of demand for coconut milk. So you can pause the video now if you'd like to attempt the question. First thing that we would do when we're showing our workings is put our formula down. And if you've forgotten, don't forget the quacky duck sits on the pond. Will help us to remember the equation, which is percentage change in quantity demanded divided by a percentage change in price. So when it comes to the change in quantity demanded, we can see there's been a decrease in demand by 10%. And there's been an estimated increase in the price of coconut milk by 40%. And then that gives us our answer. Negative 0.25 or 0.25 would be accepted. Our next question. A price war between household gas supplies caused Eon to reduce the price of its cheapest gas tariff by 25%, which resulted in sales increasing by 50%. Calculate the price elasticity of demand for Eon's gas tariff. So you can pause the video now if you'd like to attempt the question. Do ensure that you've put the formula down. Here we go. Percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. And here we can see that there was an increase of 50% in regards to quantity demanded. And the change in price is negative 25%, which gives us an answer of negative 2.0. Our next question. One estimate is that a 10% reduction in the price of Tesco iPhone contracts would increase demand by 4%. Calculate the price elasticity of demand. So we've got our formula. And we need to input that information into the formula. So that's plus 4% divided by negative 10%. And that gives us an answer of negative 0.4. Now here's a question that will require you to use percentage change. A local business raises its prices from £12 to £13.32. Demand fell by 
Calculate the price elasticity of demand for the business. Now this question will require us to calculate the percentage change, as some exam questions often do. New price minus old price divided by old price times by 100. So the new price in this instance is £13.32. The old price is £12. So input that information into the formula. And our answer is 11%. So we now have calculated the percentage change in price. And if you look in the question, we have the information as well about the quantity demanded. It fell by 15%. So let's input that into our formula. Minus 15 divided by 11. And the answer is negative 1.36. Did you get the correct answer? Let's give this question a go. Let's have a look at the question and then we will go to the case study. The price elasticity of demand for the new graphene light bulbs is estimated to be negative 0.8 and they will be priced at £10 each. Calculate the percentage change in quantity demanded following a 5% increase in price. You are advised to show your work in. Light bulb moment as first mass market graphene product goes live. The first mass market product made with the miracle material graphene is about to go on sale. A light bulb. The invention is a dimmable LED light bulb that can cut energy costs by at least 10% and last for several years. Its developers at Manchester University say it is within months of going on sale. The light bulb copies the classic design of the inventor Thomas Edison but its filament has a coating of graphene, an atom thick layer of carbon that is stronger than steel and conducts heat and electricity efficiently. Current dimmable LED bulbs cost £15 or more, but the price of the new light bulb will be lower. As before, let's include our PD formula, percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. And we will also need to use the percentage change formula, which is new price minus old price divided by old price times by 100. Now the new price in this instance is now, there's been a five pound increase, so the new price is 15 pounds, and the old price is 10 pounds. So you need to input that information into the formula. That'll be 15 minus 10, divided by 10 times by 100. And that gives us 50%. Now, within the question, it states that the price elasticity of demand for the new graphene light bulbs is estimated to be minus 0 0.8, and they will be priced at 10 pounds each. So we need to times the 0 0.8 by the 50%. And that gives us our answer, which is minus 40%. Now, this was a bit of a tricky one. How did you get on with it? Thank you for watching this video. The next two videos that will appear on the screen are what YouTube thinks you should watch next.